Just got back from Swirl Lake. We did a certification course for some new divers. And uh, I didn't have my camera with me. I should have brought it, but I, I brought my pulse finder. I just got this from Kelly Co. Products. And uh, I will put uh, their link down in the messages here if you want to do any underwater metal detecting. It was awesome. But after the certification, I said, hey, why not? Let's, uh, let's go and see if we can find some stuff. And here's some cool things that we found. I found this hair clip. Second one I found in the same place, so someone's losing them there. These glasses are broken out, no namers. These other ones, I don't know, they say uh, leaf lie on them. But uh, anyways, these keys, they've got Olaf on them and I've got some gym membership stuff. So I think I might be able to find the owner of these. The EOS Fitness Gym's right around the corner. So I'll check that out. Found this cool goblet. Huh? What do you think about that? Fun. Um, and then check this out, right as I was getting ready to come up, this, uh, I think it's an iPhone 6 Plus, 7 Plus, let's see. Um, but it looks like it's in pretty good condition. It was in a good uh, um, watertight uh, bag here. And uh, so I'll get this out and dry it out and see if we can find the owner. So stay tuned till the end and you'll see us giving it back to him. The phone has been drying out for 24 hours and I get the honors of plugging it in to see if it works. We're gonna see if we can find the owner to this phone. Are you ready? Okay, let's see if it turns on. Oh, <gasps> no look at way. that! Huh? Yeah. There's, it looks like a little damage, but... We're gonna let that keep charging and then we'll uh, check it All out. All right, it is charging, so let's see if we can find the owner of this. Here we go, it's been charged and it turns on. So we're gonna take this SIM card. It is password protected, so we're gonna take the SIM card and see if we can find these this owner. I'm excited. Okay, we found the phone number. Steve's gonna make a call now. I'm make a call. Are you nervous? Send. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Okay. You have finished recording. You may hang up or press one for more options. Hi, this is Steve. I am a scuba diver and I was out at Swirl Lake over the weekend and I think I found something that belongs to you. I'd like to get it back to you if you can give me a call back. So we finally found the owner of this phone that we've been searching forever. We, we were, did some things, moved the SIM card around, trying to find, we finally found a phone number, called it, instantly got a voicemail. I was like, oh great, maybe it's just, it's gone. So I Googled the phone number and I found um, a Facebook and an Instagram. And so I sent her an, an email and I got a response back this morning. Anyways, you can go check her out on Janie B's on Instagram. She's actually a musician. And she was, um, I think she tried out on, on American Idol as well. She's got some cool music. But this phone I found out from her today, <laughs> wait for it, was underwater for a year and a half. Are you kidding me? So I'm not a sponsor of this brand at all, but Yoshi, Yoshi Y-O-S-I-I, -I, it was in this watertight, waterproof case and it survived for a year and a half. So since she's out of country, her dad's coming over tonight. We're going to chat with him and get this phone back to her, but um, kind of a cool story. I mean, a year and a half later to find this find this phone. Really cool. Hey, how are you? Oh, it's okay. Jake. Steve. Good to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Come on in. Thank you. So I, I've dove this spot. I mean, we, we started times. Time. Yeah. Over the last two years, I mean, and I went to take it up. It's a phone. Well, I'm sure that this case was probably came from Amazon. It was probably $8. <laughs> and... I remember my daughter texting me from someone else's phone saying she'd lost it. Uh -huh. And as you know, a lot of times it's not that they cost a lot of money, which they do. Right. It's finding the backup and I finding know. another phone yeah, and talking to the that. carrier and getting it all switched up. It's such a pain. And I tell my wife, I don't care as much about the phones, but all the drama oh, surrounding yeah. it is so much trouble. Yeah. So thank you. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah, you bet. It's funny that it's got this thing around it, which you would think means, hey, right? put yeah. that thing around your neck. That'd be so cool. And then it's cool. waterproof. But sure enough, it landed in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so how deep is this? So it was sitting at about 18 feet. So is that scuba gear then? Yeah. But 18 feet, you can go up and down. You don't have to yeah. stop and yeah. no, do yeah. any of that stuff. No, yeah. It, that's why we do certifications right there. Because we take people down and they clear the mask and stuff like that. <laughs> well, that's exciting. Well, this, yeah. is, this is great. Thank you very much. Yeah, you bet. Hey, guys. My name is Jane Beeson, and I am the owner of the cell phone that was found at the bottom of Swirl Lake. So... I dropped the phone in the lake in the summer of 2018. I had my phone in a waterproof case and um, it was like a pouch, I guess, a Yoshi case it was called. And by one way or another, it ended up in the lake. I think that someone was trying to 
cool it off and they had grabbed the lanyard of it and were like dipping it in the lake to cool off my phone and it fell in. We tried everything. We called people to go get it. Uh, we tried having friends snorkel to go get it and it was too deep and too dark. No one could get it. That was the end of that. I was really sad about it actually. I had just gotten the phone. When I found out it had been found, I seriously stared at my phone for 10 minutes straight. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a prank. And then I texted my parents and they were like, well, who else would know that you lost a phone unless they'd found it? I'm so shocked that it was found and so grateful that you guys stumbled upon it and so shocked that it still works. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks Steve and whoever else was helping and good luck on the rest of your underwater adventures.